What's up everyone, I am Toku Tyler, and today we will be taking a look at the DX Ride Hey Saber from Kamen Rider Geo, the newest weapon in Geo's arsenal used by the Decade Armor, or Decade Armor, however you want to pronounce him, but it is his newest weapon that utilizes the powers of every Heisei Rider, except for Geo, of course, because Geo is the one using it, but it's just really cool. I love, this is my favorite part of the box, just having literally every Rider. They're not all in order or anything, they're all scattered, but you could see, you know, it's got Build, X-Aid, Ghost, Drive, uh, uh, Gaim, sorry, I'm just, it, they're all there, I counted all of them, they're all there, I just wanted to show that off, but here you have the blade itself, really cool, Decade Armor there, the name down here, pretty cool. Now, it's a really long box, so I'm just going to go straight to the back here. It has sounds on its own by summoning powers of other riders. You can use ride watches in it, of course. There it is again for build. And then you can do an all-out attack with all the riders. It's really awesome. Look on top here. There's a sword again. Turning the clock hand. Decade armor. And again, on the bottom, sword. Decade armor. Pretty cool, really big box. Anyway, let's get into this. And here it is, the Hay Saber. Look at this thing, this is so cool. It is shorter than the actual show uh, one, which is understandable, but this is actually longer than I expected. But look at this, this is just so cool with the silver plastic and this cool pinkish, you know, clear plastic for the blade. It's so awesome. I love it, it's so cool. And you got this watch band on the handle here, as well as on the back side of the blade. Pretty cool, sticking with the watch, you know, style of it. Here is the speaker. Here's the on and off switch. Here's the battery compartment. Takes two AAAs. Pretty cool. This cool uh, ride watch. This is where you place the ride watch. Nice and gold. You fit it right in here. And of course, with everything with ride watches, there's a release tab, which moves this little peg here so just so you know ahead of time there you go but yeah it's so cool i love it and this nice cool sticker with the arrows going in clockwise form and you can spin this obviously as a clock hand to summon other riders it's so cool i love it and then inside here well as you can see there's symbols here that say hey saber like with most of the toys says their names but inside the blade here are the symbols of all the Heisei Riders from Build all the way to Kuga, which is really, really cool. And you can't, I don't think you can see them that well right now, but I will try to focus and we'll get to that. So turn it on and we get this. That's pretty cool. It says its name. And then as we're looking at the blade, you can do a slashing noise. And then inside the blade, as I said, are the symbols of all the riders. That's really cool. I love this so far. Awesome. Okay. So, like I said, just the slashing noise, the symbols are in there. That's all you really do with just the trigger. So, now, if we turn the watch hand... You can summon build for an attack. That's so cool. And then turn it again. So basically by turning this, you summon a rider to do a dual time break. And the cool thing is, it remembers where you leave off. So I did build, and then I turned it again, and it went to X aid. So that's really awesome. So and you can turn it multiple times depending on which rider you want to do. So for me, I'll do O's, which is one, two, three, four, five, six more. <laughs> and that's really cool.
So it goes all the way back to Kuga, and then when you turn it again. It goes right back to build. So there you go. So it basically just pick a rider and you can do an attack with it. Just a basic dual time break. But it's really cool. And to get your rider, you just start from build and then count back to the rider you want to use. That's pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it without a ride watch. So now we will go grab the decade ride watch and have some fun with that. So now we have the decade ride watch. That's pretty cool. And this is on. Okay. So we simply place it right here. So if you just do it with the ride watch itself, it'll just say its name and then you'll just get a slash sound, which is just, you know, probably not supposed to happen. But what you're supposed to do is turn this during the standby music to summon more riders. So, doing that... That's pretty cool. That was the decade build scramble time break. But instead of just summoning one rider, this mode can stack other riders together. So we just did build. Now we will do all the way to Forze. That's really cool. It'll stack the riders, making a long list of riders doing the, this attack. It's really awesome. So there's that. And again, it'll go all the way to Kuga if you keep turning it. And yeah, so that's, you know, that's summoning one rider so far, stacking riders. So now we can use all the riders together by turning this three times. So I think... Oh, okay, yeah, you have to keep turning it till you've passed this point three times, wherever it's pointing, three times. So here we go. That was awesome. It had like this big charge up and then a huge explosion and slash. That was so cool. It was the ultimate time break, I think it was what it was called. That was awesome. So like I said, wherever it's pointing, you have to turn it three times continuously because if you let it say a name, then you have to start over again. But that's just so cool. You can do an ultimate attack with it. So take the ride watch off, pressing the release tab. Don't forget. So. There's that, and you can use other ride watches in it, like O's, for example. So I'll place it in with the button facing towards you. So there's that. Like I said, you can use any of the other ride watches that are legend riders. And with that note, here's this. You cannot use Geo or Gates because I'll show you. You see their buttons on the back here. The sword can activate these ones, but they are not on the same side with Geo. So I'll show you. You just place it in here. See? Nothing. So you can't use Gates and you can't use Geo. So but that's okay. You still have like 18 or 19 other ride watches you can use in here. So that's pretty fun. 
So yeah, like I said, I love this weapon. It's definitely a lot of fun. I kind of wish they had original sounds for the rider attacks and everything on its own without a ride watch. So like scanning something for O's or Vortex for build, something like that. I just little original sounds would have been nice or like a specific sound from the rider's show for instead of just a generic explosion for the slashings. I don't know. I... I, I still love it, and I still love that it can call out all these other riders, combine riders, stacking them and everything. It's just so fun, and it's definitely my new favorite weapon of the series of toys. It's just so awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified of future videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.